Hello everyone, Scott here. Welcome to, well, not what I'm known for. Uh, I'm known for doing the Guilty Pleasure Cinema, where I celebrate the movies you're embarrassed to love and showcase those you might have missed. Uh, that's what I normally do. And if you saw episode 33, you saw Battleship, and you saw Matt Zion in that, he was also in the one for Tropic Thunder. But, I am a Canadian, and Matt has asked me to be the Canadian, so welcome! to the first edition of Scott's Exclusives. Yeah, we're spelling it that way. So, what I am going to do is review stuff that is a bit of a pain in the ass to get down the mat. Because I'm in Canada, and I have a camera, and he asked me to. So there we go. So first off is gonna be some normal stuff. We're gonna get to like the fast food things. We're, we're gonna go to those. But I'm gonna start off with a little double issue here. Joe Louis. These are by Vachon, which is a Canadian company here. And the other part of it though, it's gonna be a two for one, is the Half Moon. Now this one looks weird, that says Half Loon, right? It's Canada. These guys are putting the French first. It's vanille and vanilla. So yes, that's actually a Half Moon. Um, normally I call them Half Loon Moons myself, just cause look at that and tell me that it isn't. So. I'm going to do one of each, and the reason there's one of each is because there's chocolate and vanilla. So the obvious point of contention here is I've had these, it's not like we're going to send them down and it's someone who's never had them before. Uh, the Joe Louis, as you can see, is a little chocolate cake with cream in it. I always called them like a chocolate burger, because <laughs> um, it, it really does look like it. So, tear into this, and they are a little flaky, so you know. Uh, it makes a bit of a mess, so let's see if we can get this without doing so. Yeah, there we are. So it is a little chocolate burgery type thing. It's already melting onto my hand. And well, give it a shot. No cream at all! So you can see right off the bat, that's a bit of a fail there. While I'm eating this, you can also check out myself on Zion Mainframe Gaming with Matt. He's got me in um, the infestation stuff, first off, and no room, uh, no more room in hell. But also Project Zomboid's coming up, and a whole bunch of stuff. We're, we're both addicted to games on Steam, so be sure to check that out. There's the cream. I can see where the cream would be. I've had so many of these from my childhood to today. I've never had one skimp on the cream like that. It's when it counts. Honestly, we're talking a four, or an out of five, I'd give it a four out of five. It's not perfect, but it's like the size. I've taken two chunks out of this, and you can tell it's not really dented it much. Um, it's a light cake. Uh, not sure how the focus is going to work on that, but it's a light cake with the cream in it and the harder shell, but it's it's all soft, as you can see. It's it's breaking there, so I mean it is what it is. It's a it's a well known thing here in Canada. If you have something similar in the states, I'd recommend it. Uh, it's almost like a Swiss roll, but obviously not rolled. If that is any familiarity, it's really like a little Debbie kind of thing. Definitely, I mean if you're Canadian, you know what I'm talking about. If you're in Canada and you've never had them, hey, check them out. So that's an obvious one. Everybody knows these. They do come in half ones as well. Similar to the ones I'm about to show you. Then there's the Half Loon Moons. I'm calling them that, I don't care. Uh, I gotta love when packaging barely is anything on the back. Again, Saputo, it's all the same company with this stuff. Like I said, are the halves. Now, I've never seen a full one of these. Like, uh, like a Joe Louis. I've only ever seen the half ones. So I don't know if it's a matter of them not selling, but... Probably already see some familiarity with the coloring on this. Um... Looks kind of like a Twinkie, doesn't it? It's super soft, and you can even see it's peeling off on that. And yeah, we're looking at a Twinkie here, aren't we? Except it's bigger. Look, look at the size of that compared to a Twinkie. It's bigger. Um, might be equivalent to two Twinkies put together uh, for a total, but you can even see it's like a sandwich. It really, truly is like a sandwich. So this is just a sponge cakey Twinkie thing. So. Well, what a lot of cream in it. All in my mouth. Truthfully, I think I like these better. Um, on a, 
But again, we're talking, I would say on a 4 out of 5. I'd probably give this a 4 too. But it's a different 4. Like, it's it's a hard thing to compare. Sometimes you want chocolate, sometimes you don't. Um, people would think, like, vanilla, it's plain, but it's the Twinkie thing. But it's a bit moister. Yeah. Um... No, it's really good. I'm going to finish these off and be fat. So, really, as far as for which one I'd recommend, if you could only pick one, I'd say be fat and try both. Because, well, they are at the same time same, but completely different. Eat them both? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you got your chocolate and your vanilla. They are very different. One's coated also as well. It looks red, even like a velvet cake. So... There you go. If you've ever had them, comment down below. If you've never had them, comment down below. If you have something similar in the States, let me know. Um, I'm sure, uh, so I, I don't even think Matt ever got these sent to him, uh, ever down, or anybody in the Reckless Eating Guys. So check that out. If anyone does know an American equivalent, I'm curious. Uh, and if anyone has ideas or suggestions for more Canadian exclusive stuff, do let me know. I do have more ideas and more things I'll be doing. Um, and Matt's going to be saying, hey, go get it, that kind of thing too, so don't worry, there will be more, guaranteed on that. Um, and also, i got to plug my own, go to GuiltyPleasureCinema.com, the movie reviews, they are bi-weekly, there's other little shows in between as well, I'm on the Reckless Eating Zion Mainframe Gaming as well, um, I've always told Matt if I do have a chance to get out there in California, I will totally want to be on a main show, and he said he's welcome, so who knows if that'll ever happen. I know I'll hate every minute of it. But check all that stuff out. Check out all my stuff. Check out his stuff. Check it all out. And we'll see you tomorrow.